Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to my channel TechnoCube. We are actually on the mobile transport layer and uh, we had seen uh, the congestion control in our previous uh, session and we had seen why exactly congestion is there in the TCP and how it assumes that even if there is a hardware and software errors, it, TCP simply assumes that it is because of the congestion. And congestion is nothing but a traffic, right? In the in the network, if there is a high traffic, then router is, routers usually drop the packet because of the full of buffer space. The now, uh, you know, whenever this TCP uh, detects that there is a congestion, it starts something called as a slow start. Okay, this is a, a mechanism to uh, stop somehow uh, the con congestion. So it will start the slow start. It's a mechanism. All right. So it'll start a slow start. So what happens in slow start? Let's understand. So here uh, in the slow start, what will happen? Sender calculates a congestion window. Okay, just as, uh, just think about this. The sender assumes uh, or calculate, not assumes, it calculate the congestion win window for receiver. That how many data should I send to the receiver and receiver ultimately acknowledge that data, right? It calculate the congestion window. No. Now, the uh, this congestion window it is of one segment because segment is why because we are working with TCP and TCP is having segment number by which uniquely identify the uh, of the packets right so the congestion window initially is on one segment one segment that means sender can send one packet and waits for the acknowledgement that is the simple thing so here the sender starts this is the graph here now this is the graph here i mean x is then sender starts with a one packet so this is that one packet okay so this one packet is sended and let's say a receiver acknowledge that so this is that acknowledgement and, and it will send it and then what uh, then sender does once it reach reach the uh, acknowledgement once the packet is being sended to the receiver and the receiver acknowledges it once the acknowledgement is comes to the sender sender will double the congestion window so it is one now it is two so it will double the congestion window so this is the double so let's say this is the double okay so now this is the congestion window double so two packets can be sent so this is one packet here one packet sent and acknowledged right after acknowledging uh, once the acknowledgement comes i can increase the congestion window by two so that means two packet can send and acknowledgement will come of two packets once the acknowledgement of these two packets come again i am going to double the congestion window let's say now the congestion window is four so this is the congestion window four so four packet i can send and ac can the, this continues you know it's going to be continuously uh, up and up so this growth is known as this whole growth is known as exponential growth it's known as exponential growth of congestion window here you can see after sending one there is it can increase the size of congestion window to two then it will four and then so on okay it is going to continuously increase till when there is a congestion threshold okay i have to put some threshold here so let's say this is the threshold congestion threshold sir how to calculate congestion threshold it is half of the receiver's congestion window okay it is half of the congestion window so let's say this is the congestion threshold i am I'm reached to the congestion threshold. This is a congestion threshold. All right. So once you reach to the congestion threshold, after that, sender can send only one packet. So this one packet is being sent again. So this is let's say this is the one packet send it okay then once the acknowledgement of the one packet comes again sender will send only one packet so this is again one packet again the acknowledgement come sender will send another one packet okay so this this is a linear growth of congestion window so it's a linear growth of congestion window only send one one packet till now till when sir it is there is, there is something called as timeout because every station has a time to send so there could be a timeout now this timeout could be like missing acknowledgement or some software or hardware failure so timeout will occur so once you get to the timeout at this specific 
point the tcp drastically comes to the zero it will drastically comes to the zero and once again it will start the exponential growth so once again it will start with one segment and then doubles the congestion window again doubles the congestion window comes to the congestion threshold this is the congestion threshold one ct1 okay ct1 so and after the reaches it to the congestion threshold the linearity comes and let's say this is the timeout again drops to zero again start with the uh, you know the exponential growth congestion threshold ct2 will come again the linearity will come timeout will come will again get back to zero again start so this is this is basically the con this is basically the slow start it's a graph of slow start you are getting it initially sender starts with one segment it means one packet i can send to the receiver receiver will acknowledge that one packet once the acknowledgement reaches to the to this point i mean to the sender now sender can increase the congestion window to two double it so i it means i can send two packets and wait for the acknowledgement once the two packet acknowledgement received i can increase the congestion window to four that means four packet i can send and i will wait for four acknowledgement once you get the four acknowledgement let's say there is a congestion and threshold then this exponential growth is going to be stopped there that means i now can send only one packet at a time so this is one packet and the acknowledgement should be wait once the acknowledgement reaches another one packet could be sent another one packet could be sent so this is a linear growth so till how till you get a timeout once you get a timeout tcp drastically comes to zero again will start the start the exponential growth like one segment then two segment then four segment again congestion threshold linear comes up again drastically zero after the timeout again congestion window congestion threshold comes up linear go again drastically to zero again uh, i mean uh, uh, congestion window to one and then double it right so this is a slow start mechanism this is what i written in the in, uh, one note here you see start of congestion window with one segment sender sends one packet and waits for the acknowledgement if acknowledgement arrives the sender increase the congestion window by one now sending two packet and wait for acknowledgement no problem after arriving two corresponding acknowledgement sender again adds two congestion window that means four this scheme this scheme double congestion window every time acknowledgement come back it is known as ex exponential growth of congestion window now the problem is we cannot go ahead with this exponent exponentiality right this is not a good idea it's a dangerous way to play with okay it's not a good idea to go ahead and grow our congestion window this is not a good idea so we need to stop it so for that stoppage factor we have this congestion threshold ct as soon as you know you reach your congestion window reaches to the ct it means congestion threshold the transmission rate becomes linear adding one packet okay and it means one to uh, congestion window and when this linearity gets uh, stopped when you get a timeout due to missing acknowledgement in that case a tcp drastically comes to zero and starts again with a single segment so this is your slow start in this way we can somehow uh, stop the congestion okay this is one mechanism to uh, see the uh, or you can say the, the stopping the uh, congestion okay so if you understand it please hit and like button um, and share it thank you so much for listening to me and you can please uh, subscribe my, to my channel if you are new here if you have any doubt please uh, comment in the comment section I'll, i would be happy to help you thank you so much